Well, hi there, this is Bill Prankert, and I've got good news for you today. In a world filled with bad news, there is good news. You know, years ago, I, I was on an airplane in Ottawa, where I live, nation's capital of Canada, and uh, oh, the weather was terrible. It, it was really bad. It was kind of foggy and rainy and cold and wet, and uh, the clouds were just, you know, um, closing right in. In fact, they didn't even know whether they could uh, take off or not, and uh, they decided that we would and could, and so the plane took off. And uh, honestly, within probably seconds, we came up through the clouds, and um, wow, it was a beautiful day. <laughs> it was, it was, the sun was shining, the sky was blue, and I looked down and the clouds were still there, all the problems were there. So I'm not telling you that if you put your faith in Jesus and you look to him and you change your perspective that everything's going to go away, all the problems are going to, I'm just saying that you won't even notice them and they won't matter. I want to talk to you today about the Bible, the Word. You know, the scripture says um, in, in, in Matthew chapter 22, when Jesus talked to, to the religious leaders of the day, and he said, you're in error, not knowing the scriptures and the power of God. And here's, here, these were people who were theologians. I mean, they knew the word and they knew the scriptures. They studied them and they taught them. But Jesus said publicly, you're in error. It's time that, you know, we become balanced. And to be balanced, it doesn't mean you dry up or, 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 you know, you don't experience anything. It means that you know the scriptures, you have the power, of, uh, have the word of God in you, but you also experience the presence of God. That combination is phenomenal. I mean, when you've got the word in you, you're solid, you're going to stand. And the problem is, you know, a lot of people have taken this book and they've just made it a bunch of theology. This book is different than any other book. This book is alive. The Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us. You can't love Jesus without knowing, the, knowing and loving the word. The good news is that God wants to speak to you today. Some people are waiting for an audible voice. Some people are waiting for somebody to come with a prophetic word. But every time you read this book, every time, he will speak to you. This is his word. This book is alive. And I'm just going to give you a suggestion today. What would happen if Jesus phoned you <laughs> and said, I'm coming to your house today at three o'clock. I just want to spend time with you. Or I'm coming to live with you. I just want to spend time with you. You know, all of a sudden, we would change our plans. We say, well, I was going to do this and this, but that's not as important as this. I'm going to go home and I'm going to be with Jesus and I'm going to have him with me. I'm going to listen. I'm going to sit at his feet. What would happen if we treated this book just as if Jesus came to our house. Because that's exactly what it is. He is the word. He is the word. When I'm under pressure, I go to the word. When I've got questions, I go to the word. When I, when I need something and I need you know, help and strength, I go to the word. Jesus, when the devil confronted him, out in the wilderness after his baptism and after he'd been there 40 days and 40 nights uh, and, and the, the devil tried to tempt him, he, he went to the word. It is written, it is written, it is written. I'm here to tell you today that everything you need is in this book. You could read the same portion, I'm sure, every day for a month and see something different. It just keeps leaping out. Gwen and I, this year, are going through the Bible again, reading the Bible from cover to cover. And honestly, we've done this so many times. I mean, I've lived in this book, but new things come out. I've never noticed that. I've never seen that because there are layers. So today, take time. 
Open your Bible, read it. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. And you will know the word. You'll have the word in you. You'll hide the word in your heart so you'll not sin against him. But you'll also be able to experience him and the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. This is good news. So this is a good day. Why don't you celebrate by opening the Bible and starting to read today. And not just be, you know, people that read the book, but start living it. We are to be doers of the word, not hearers only. God bless you. You will have a great day.